Um, what was the most important lesson you learned as a young consultant? Uh, don't quit your job after six months. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, but your first six months on most jobs yeah. uh, can be really tough. It's mm -hmm. just I, I, you probably all had that experience. You think, oh, my goodness, what mistake have I made? i, I got to get out of here. And, uh, and actually, uh, you know, live through the first six months. Uh, put your head down. Work real hard. Uh, number two, do your present job really well. Uh, perform as superbly as you can. And, uh, uh, and then just soak up as much learning as you can. And always be looking for opportunities for, uh, uh, for gaps in the marketplace where there are opportunities to create new innovations of one kind or another. Every, almost every successful entrepreneur I've seen did not begin by sitting down with a piece of paper and saying, okay, I want to own my own company. What shall I do? Mm. Instead, they worked somewhere and they saw a need. They saw a problem that wasn't being met. And they said, you know what? Somebody ought to do something. Aha, mm. I'll do something about that. Mm. And, uh, and so whether you're, you're consulting and you're, you're working with different companies and industries and you see opportunities there or in the consulting field itself, keep your eyes open for those opportunities because that's how, that, that is how America succeeds. We do not succeed by having the largest population. Uh, we do not succeed by having the lowest cost energy. We succeed by having the most innovative people in the world. This has been the center of opportunity for a couple hundred years. People come here to learn and create and innovate. So finding those opportunities in consulting or in any job you get is what allows America to be so successful. And that leads right into the next question. Since you were the leader who started Bain Capital and you, you backed many people who started firms, um, what kind of person should think about being an entrepreneur or the flip side, which of these people should avoid it? It's just not <laughs> the right thing. You know, there are phone companies, electric utilities, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, it's really hard for me to, for me to tell. I'm, I must admit that, that uh, uh, that being an entrepreneur is, is high risk. Most folks will find that they will not be successful. Most, most, initial, most, most startups fail. Um, it's, uh, um, so, so actually going out there and doing it is something that you have to almost have in your DNA. Um, but there are some people who just say, I cannot possibly work for someone else for my entire career. I can't do it. i got to get it. And there will be people that go out and do that. And they'll be happy uh, making $25,000 a year, but they're doing it on their own. And there are others that say, no, I'd rather work my way up the corporate ladder. You'll be able to tell whether the corporate ladder is the route for you uh, or whether going off and being entrepreneurial is. I, I had always wanted to be the chief executive of General Motors. I have to be honest, mm -hmm. when I got in trouble, I thought maybe Barack Obama will call, but he didn't. <laughs> <And> <laughs> he could have gotten me out of his hair, you know that? But, uh, but anyway, uh, that's, that's what I want. I mean, I, my summer job, uh, uh, one of my summer jobs, because uh, I was in a, you know, the four-year joint program, but one mm -hmm. of my summer jobs, I worked at Chrysler Corporation. Mm -hmm. All right, worked at Chrysler. And it was just deadly. Oh, my goodness. It was so bureaucratic. And, uh, I mean, the, the line at the parking lot at 5 o'clock, you couldn't move. I mean, it was just getting out of there at 5. It was, it was like, I can't work in an environment like this. But I thought it would be better you know, somewhere else in the, in the corporate structure. I went into consulting thinking it would take me into corporate America. And that I'd be in consulting for three or four years, then go get a job in a corporation and move up the ladder. But then this opportunity to lead Bain Capital came along, and uh, I jumped at that. It was on, more entrepreneurial than I ever thought I would uh, experience. I loved it, and uh, uh, you know I'd never do it a different way. But it, it, you know, it's it's in my in my own experience is it's very difficult to chart your course. Mm -hmm. You can't say where I'm you know where I'm going to go. Instead, you do your present job well. Mm -hmm. You look for the opportunities that exist to help your present employer and see if there are new things you can do, and you follow your nose. Um, and uh, and trying, to trying to set out a course and say, I want to get from here to there. I know that there are some, like the seven habits of highly successful people, you know, say what your goal is, say it every night. You know, I, I, mean, I didn't do that. I, I, I just said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to work real hard. I like work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give as much as I can to my employer, do well at the job I'm doing, and, uh, and then as opportunities arise, uh, take advantage of them. And, uh, they, they say the most successful people are people that just show up and put in an honest day's work mm. every day. Um, Was that for the benefit of the dean for you? Is that, uh, yeah? <laughs> the, the dean will tell you my car is always out there early. But <laughs> well, what it is, I own two cars. I parked <laughs> park one out there with the Yale sticker. <laughs> and my wife drops me off about 11 o'clock. <laughs>
परम